Oh, what's up guys? It's Johnny GT coming for my third vlog. Um, today we're going to talk about two things. Uh, first, I'm excited to say that I've won over 50 subscribers. Um, not that that's really a big deal in the YouTube world. It's like a pimple on an elephant's ass, basically. But for me, starting a channel out of nowhere, just running with it. Um, I'm happy to hit 50. I look forward to the 100, uh, to the 500, to the 1,000 subscriber mark. Um, so for the small amount of people that have joined me, I appreciate it. Thank you for commenting and liking. Sorry. Sorry. Thank you for uh, liking and subscribing to my videos. I look forward to making awesome more videos. Um, the second thing I want to talk about is I did have the opportunity... Ooh, GT500. Sorry, you can't see that. Um, <clears throat> the second opportunity, the second, yeah. The second thing I want to talk about is I did have the opportunity to drive a Tesla. Um, it was the Tesla Model 85, not the D or the P or any of the crazy things, just more of their, uh, uh before, the, I think, the, I think the one I drove was before they got the crazy ones. So, it was my first time driving an electric car, my first time driving a Tesla. Um, I thank a good friend of mine. I really appreciate that quick opportunity. Um, I have driven a, a Prius before. I only mention that because I know a Prius has a gasoline engine, but it's only that compared to. Um, so my first impressions of the Tesla, um, which is what I want to talk about in general about more, you know, the, the green, the green cars, if you will. Which I'm not going to get into that totally. But as far as what's consider a green vehicle Tesla's doing one thing right that for some odd reason nobody else is getting you know not not Toyota with the Prius not even Chevy with the new Bolt coming out or even their old Bolt car is Tesla cars look good they are good looking cars um, it looks like a high performance car it looks every bit as much money as they cost I mean this thing was just gorgeous looking it had all the neat little gimmicks you know like pushing a button to get the door to come out so you can unlock it um, as far as the interior is concerned it had this big big screen right in the center there um, with you know every option you would need to control your car basically um, moving on to the power this is where things were unexpected for me I don't know if it's just how the car is set up or if there's another option to change its setting somewhere in there I tried messing with it all I could find was the steering um, input so I was able to put the steering into sport mode but the power was interesting because it, it, it like when you think electric it's supposed to be instant torque and it just didn't feel that way I'm not saying it wasn't it just didn't feel that way it actually it was extremely smooth the smoothest car I've ever driven but it gradually gained power like it had fantastic mid-range power um, and it was so creepy it was all quiet and you're just like all stealth like driving around um, as far as pickups concerned <clears throat> considering it was a big sedan I'll compare it to my scat pack um, it's not even close to the scat packs pickup um, I already know there's videos out there of the P85D beating the Hellcat so I know there's some really fast trims um, out there. Please note though for that video it irks me um, I'm not discrediting the Tesla but please note notice the trap speed between the two cars that's what happens when you have all-wheel drive versus somebody doesn't know what they're doing with 700 plus horsepower and street tires um, moving on from that um, I'm really glad Tesla's in the marketplace <clears throat> you know I really I like the idea of somebody coming in that isn't the big three in the US market that is GM Ford and Chrysler that's producing a car that that's that's all the R&D is electric vehicles there is no R&D in gas engines or hybrids or or any of the other type of fuel vehicles out there um, they're just straight electric and I think I think Tesla's gonna be the future as far as brand name um, but this Model 3 should be a real interesting uh, the car handled really well braked really well uh, going back to the interior it's extremely nice I'll be flashing you guys some, some quick shots I was able to take on my cell phone. Um, but overall, it's a fantastic car. I'm more than thankful to have that opportunity to take it for a quick spin. I'm sorry I can't give you guys a full review. It was just it was like a last minute ordeal. Um, so, you know, if 
figured I'd just talk about it and show you guys a couple quick clicks of talking about it. So, yeah, I really enjoyed it. And if for some reason you're in New Jersey and looking for a Tesla, let me know. The one I just drove is for sale. Um, but otherwise, I want to thank you guys. I'm going to sign out and get back to driving to work Mondays. So, uh, on that note, <coughs> I hope nobody else has a case of the Mondays. And you guys, uh, keep it easy. Take it easy. All right, guys. Uh, I'm out.